Today we're um, going to do a uh, how to assemble a Troy built um, Flurry 1400 uh, electric snowblower. Uh, this is your basic bottom of the line um, electric snowblower from Lowe's. Uh, we got a storm coming in a, in a day and I don't have a snowblower so I ran out and bought this one. It's like 179 Got decent reviews for an electric one. So we're going to show you how to assemble it. And uh, and that's it. We'll be right on back. So, opening the box. Cardboard filler. Instruction manual. And the machine and handle itself looks like it has to be assembled. So, in the package is your setup guide. Operator's manual and four wing nuts for the assembly of the handle, and this is to hold your electric uh, cable. So, give us a second and we'll show you how to set this up. This basically requires a Phillips head screwdriver to assemble. So, first, you pull up the handle. So as you can see we've gone ahead and removed all the plastic from the handles um, ahead of time and the other handle and you can see it's not assembled, it doesn't come assembled. So we have to um, assemble the handle with some wing nuts. Um, but before we do that, the first thing you do is you take your electric um, cable holder and go ahead and slip it through. the uh, holder so it's like that so that way you can secure your cable on there uh, your uh, extension cable okay and when assembling this handle onto the uh, machine it's important very important that if you look here you'll see there's a flared end on both sides of this middle section it's very important that that flared end faces forward when you assemble it. So you'll be assembling it like this. Put the flared end forward. Just like that. Then you take your wing nut and put it in here. The same thing on the other side. We'll go ahead and do that next. And so for a quick close up here you can see that we've screwed this all the way in. This wing nut all the way in with the bolt on the other side because there's a square um, entry. We'll show you on the other side here. This screw has um, locks in place just like that. So it's important that you do the wing nut on the inside. We just wanted to point that out. Okay, so make sure that you tighten these up as snug as they'll go. And that way it'll secure it to the machine. The next part of this is to secure the upper part of the... Um, handle and the same concept goes for that you use the bolt on this side so it locks in place and the wing nut on the inside so go ahead and do that there as well as here and you can also secure your electric cable with this clamp here just like that Okay. Okay, you see you can see now that we very securely have secured the handle. We have our um, extension cord holder. This is the cable that it will connect to. And it's make sure that you really tighten these guys up really, really strong. And again, the bolt on the outside, wing nut on the inside, same as on the bottom. Now the next step to setting this up, and always whenever messing around with anything electrical obviously you don't want to be assembling this way it's plugged in that should go without saying but I'm gonna say it anyway so the next step here obviously you can see the chute really isn't working it's in there upside down for shipping purposes so what we need to do is take a screwdriver four Phillips head screwdriver 
screws and unscrew this front shield, take out this assembly, and then set it up so that we can throw the snow where we wanted to. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew these four Phillips head screws and then take that assembly off. Okay, we've gone ahead and removed the four screws and this assembly just slides off and then out comes the chute. Okay, then what you need to do is unscrew this here. And rotate the shoot up. Reinstall your washer and wing nut. Okay, so now we can slide it back into the housing. with this, obviously this is to rotate it on the other side and then we insert the shield back on and then go ahead and put in the four screws again and now you're ready to go you can raise this up and turn it wherever you want once it's secured just one note, when installing this top piece, you want to make sure that you put it over the lip here. There's a little block on the plastic block. You want to put it over that so that way there's no gap here so no snow blows in your face. Then you can just leave it loose so that you can raise it and lower it just slightly and then turn it and direct it whichever way you want to go with the snow. So that's pretty much how you set it up. The Troy built electric single stage snow blower that has a 14 inch uh, width and uh, it's recommended that if you're going to use a 100 foot cable to <clears throat> use a 14 gauge 100 footer if you're going to use 50 16 gauge is acceptable thanks for watching that's how you set up the Troy built electric single stage snow thrower fury flurry 1400 thanks